Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with the UntitledGameshow.com, dancing the night away in Destiny once again, and I'm here with a little video for you guys. I wasn't sure if I was going to do any more Destiny videos, but my friends are having this issue, and when my friends are having problems in games, I usually just like to make a video to show them what I do to solve the problem. So, as you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of Destiny out there, but I'm a big fan of part of Destiny, the multiplayer, the Crucible, I absolutely love it. I do think Bungie did a good job with that. The single player, however, is absolutely ferocious, and I have a lot of problems with it. But unfortunately, if you have cool guns like this right here, legendary guns, you're going to need something called Relic Iron, as you guys can see. You need eight of them, just upgrade this one, and then, of course, you're going to need something like 16 for the later one. And this goes the same if you have something like a legendary um, rocket launcher, you need like helium, whatever weapon it might be, they need different things. And Relic Iron might be one of the harder things to get in the game because you need to fight higher level enemies in the area and it's on Mars which is a later part of the game. So there's a few ways to get Relic Iron but the easiest way is to farm it from Mars. The planet that I am on right now and in this specific area right here what you see. And I'm going to show you guys exactly where to go to actually get these Relic Irons and where I get them from and how I do it and way I do it. So that's basically what I'm going to show you guys in this video and do what I do. But before I start that off, let me show you this little video right here. Um, this happened a little bit earlier. So on this area as well, you can get public events. And while you're doing the public events, make sure you guys are looking around, of course, because you can run into something like that. What you guys see right there, Relic Iron. You can see them, they grow out of the ground as well as they um, actually go ahead and you know just be um, in the loot chests that I'm gonna show you real quick so um, this video is gonna be quite long so I'm just gonna show you guys my run normally but I just wanna show you guys that after you beat these public events too you do have an opportunity to get the item you're about to see right here which is the Ascend Energy so there you go so you actually get the Ascend Energy and if you get a Gold Star here so make sure you guys do that alright guys so let's go ahead start up the run and I'll show you guys what I get if I get anything at all and what's it all about to upgrade those equipment so first spot I'm gonna show you guys all the spots right here or in this cave generally you could actually go ahead and find a blue chest that could give you some ascent energy I mean ascent energy some relic iron or sometimes up top right up there guys right up there you will also be able to find a area to get the chest the chest spawns I don't know when but it does spawn there every now and then some areas are faster than others but I'm going to show you all the areas outside and all the areas inside as well. I'm going to show you all the areas I have personally found items to get on Relic Iron. Now, once again, all these spots might be actually taken already because of the players. So another spot is right here behind this tree right here, guys. Right behind this tree. I uh, usually this is a consistent spot to always find Relic Iron. So that's how I have so much, guys. And that's how I've been able to upgrade guns in the past. Or let my friends know to upgrade guns if I play with somebody that needs to know. Another area that you hardly ever find a chest is right here. I've actually found a chest right at the spot right here behind this rock. I haven't found it lately, so but I do know it comes there. All right, guys. So let's move on. And also on top of this rock right up here, you will actually find relic iron right up here as well at this spot. So just be known that that does happen, but it's very rare. So these areas out here in the open are a little bit rare and may not really work for you, depending on how you want to do your run or just play the game. But like I said, Destiny single player is just stuff like this. If you want to upgrade your weapon. To play the multiplayer to be the best it can be for the upcoming iron whatever it's called mission where basically all the um multiplayer limits are off where everybody's weapons are not equal so whoever has the best stuff will win um this is maybe something you're gonna need to do very soon guys so just be known so another area is right over here you can find more relic iron um i'm not worried about these enemies at all i'm never worried about enemies because personally my armor is way stronger than they are and i can do stuff like that so next thing to do and what most people do they go into these little huts right here so that's the reason you stay by this area there's about four of these you go in every single one and then you take a quick right and as you guys can see bam open up the loot chest you get yourself some relic iron and then you keep it moving some people like to do this in a two minute fashion where basically they just go ahead from one ear to the next and just keep repeating the process you could go back to orbit to come back here to make all this a little, a little difficult but for me going back to orbit just wastes time as for me personally, going to Arby just takes too damn long for just coming back to this area. I'm not going to show you how to get to this area, guys, because if you're playing on this game at this point, you're level 25 and you've played Destiny for a pretty long time, and you probably know the maps like the back of your head because, well, you've got to play the same content over and over. But you guys know this tower, you'll be able to get here. Alright, and this is not a guy. This is just to show my friends who probably basically already know this stuff. Alright, to the right here guys, you'll find more chests in here, so just look around, if you don't see it there, just leave it. In here, the room over here guys, is a little rarer than everywhere else, but every now and then they will be there, so you might as well go ahead and check it out. Either way, 
Like I said, guys, I usually kill the enemies. It doesn't matter if you do or not, but they do give you drops and they give you the glamour stuff. Um, another thing too, guys, go ahead and take bounties. Go and take yourself some bounties to make sure that you guys actually could be doing bounties while doing this. The reason I always take a bounty is because, well, bounties will up your rank. Right now, I am rank two, um, about to be three in dead orbit, and that's because I've been doing bounties. So up in these areas, I've seen them too, but it's very rare. So just know that if you want to look up there, you can actually find them. Jump down, go into this room right here. And look around, you see a uh, chest, if there's no chest, move on, there is a chest, open the blue chest, look at that, we get ourselves special armor, um, synthesis, and we get ourselves a decorating Instagram. So there you go guys, you might get a strange coin from that, you might get a whatever armor, it might be anything, you know, because that's just how Destiny rolls, they might give you absolutely anything, even if it looks like a helmet, because Destiny is a weird loot based game like that for no apparent reason. I'm guessing the, de the publisher of, the, of Destiny have never played Borderlands or played Diablo because... Yeah, they kind of went crazy with their loot system. It just takes forever to do anything. But they wanted you to play the game like an MMO, and they sure have accomplished it with this system right here with the Relic Iron. Because there's no way I could find in the game to actually buy Relic Iron. You have to go ahead and do it this dumb way. Next spot I found chest is right here. I've only found the chest here once. Literally once is the only time I've seen a chest up here. But because I've seen it, I know it's impossible to go ahead and find a chest on here. So I'm guessing if you can find a chest on top of that one, you might be able to find a chest on the other one. Now, once again, guys, it's best to do this when there's nobody else around. Because if there's other people here, then you're going to be competing to get to the chests and probably getting the Rail of Iron too. But you guys can always join in the party and do it together. So that's basically it, guys. I'm not sure how long it took me to get around the whole entire area right there. But those are all the spots I basically checked. And you guys can go around in a circle, do it. You guys don't have to kill absolutely any enemies if you don't want to. Just go from spot to spot in a big-ass circle on your bike and make it really quick. But like I said, I usually kill the enemies just for the hell of it because they usually have a bounty to do. So let's go back to the beginning right over here and see if we can't go ahead and scan that chest. So unfortunately no chest in here, so didn't get lucky right there. But let's just go around one last time, see if anything can respawn. But like I said, if there's other characters going around doing the same thing as I am, then not. I was hoping to find the one over here to show you that there is one up here in spawn because I've told people that before and they're like, no, there doesn't. But yeah, one really does spawn all the way up there. So just be note of that, all right, guys? I remember guys, every few minutes there is going to be a public event. I think there's a website called Destiny Public Events. You can track it how long it's going to be to the public event. Some people actually just sit around in these rooms and actually wait for the public events because the public events give you stuff like Ascend Charge, Ascend Energy. It's funny for a game that I don't <laughs> like to think about too much. I know so much about the game just because the damn good multiplayer, man. That multiplayer, man, is good. Like, damn, I'm good with that damn shotgun, guys. Like... If there was like some leaderboard stuff I could show you, man, I am pretty good. My friends, Killer Snake is a beast in that game with the future fusion rifle, and I'm pretty good, man. You guys should watch this play on Steam, on Steam, on Stream, on Twitch, and you guys can see us actually play the game. So, um, I'm pretty sure there's probably some other spots like right here. But this is a spot I specifically didn't know, but I don't know all the spots like the, the, it grows out of the ground. I usually just know where the chests are and those general few spots that I always check. All right, guys, so. That's been the run right there. I'm going to do it one last time. See if we get anything this time. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys. So thank you for watching. It's been BQ with the Untitled Game Show .com. I hope you guys liked the video. You might want to check out some of my Shadow of Mordor video. I'm going to be completing that game on YouTube. Smash Brothers. Hyrule Warriors. And every other game out there. I'm hoping that Destiny eventually gets packed to where you guys will go ahead and buy this stuff from a shop. And don't have to do dumb things like this. Because... Man, it must have took forever if those guys were at the level 30 to do all this stuff. So, look at that, guys. Two more right there, guys. So, I probably got a few already just while you watch this video. Um, I'm not going to go to the spot up here right now because I, it's really hard to get that one as well. So, most people just do run from room to room to room. Go down into the dark. Spin around in a quick circle if you want. Don't see it. Spin back up and go back. And just continue that pattern pretty onward like this. And if you're lucky... See a chest. Oh, there we go. This chest is gonna be a good chest because it's a blue chest. We got a resupply code and some relic iron. Then we're gonna go back out, go up here, and go to the next area. And that is quite literally all there is to it. And that's what I do, and that's what I do to get the relic iron to upgrade the weapons and play Destiny multiplayer for fun. Cause that is fun, and that's that's it guys, I don't, that's why I'm playing Destiny mostly now, that's why you guys never see me finish off my playthrough of the game, I literally stop midway, just like, nope, 
you guys don't need to see the rest of the story. It does not matter. The story is not that interesting. Halfway through this game, I realized, hey, Destiny's story is not the industry. Why should I do a Let's Play for people who probably don't care one bit about the story? But this stuff, I don't know that it's kind of a how-to or guide in a way. Just a little bit. So I know people might have this question. So once again, this area right here, Destiny, Mars. You guys know how to get there. we have been playing the game long enough. So then, let me wait for the ship. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching. Like my videos if you like them. Dislike if you like them. <laughs> Peace.